All right, Rogers, joining me right now by phone. He's loving a letter out in LA, and I'm jealous of him right now. The one and only Michael Orlando of Adrenaline Mob. What's up, man? Not much, man. How's How it going, you? Turbo? Good to I'm doing good. Good to be talking to you, my friend. Same here, man. Same here. I'm jealous of you, man. Out in L.A. at NAM, enjoying the weather, man. I'm, I'm jealous in it this is. way. <laughs> it is. It's cool out here, man. Yeah, I'm doing. I'm out here doing some shows. I'm doing some press for the new Adrenaline Mob album. Doing the Bomb Hill Bash. Doing the Randy Rose Remembered concert tonight. And we have an album coming out. Randy Rose Remembered that I played on and did uh, Diary of a Madman with uh, Brian Tishy and Michael Devin and Sebastian Bach and Stephen Bonk. But yeah, I'm having a ball. It's great, man. Cool, man. Yeah, I've actually got that uh, that album pre-ordered. I actually got word it's in the mail, so I look forward to to checking that nice. Randy Rhodes album out. Yeah, it's cool, man. It was an honest play on it, and uh, you know, you can never go wrong with Randy Rhodes. He is the man. Absolutely, man. Never go wrong with Randy. We, we lost him too soon. That's that's for sure, man. Oh, yeah. What well, ain't too soon. That, that is for sure. Absolutely. So, uh, I want to go back a minute to last year before we talk about the new EP that Adrenaline Mom is coming out entitled Dearly Departed. Uh, I want to go back yep. to last year because we didn't really get to talk after I saw you guys out at uh, Revolution here in the New yep. York area. And... I got to tell you, man, you guys, the energy that you guys give off on stage is just amazing, man. And you know, Thank how, you, man. How, Thank you. How is it that you guys manage to bring so much intensity, you know, to the stage? And is it one of those things where the energy of the crowd feeds what you guys do and then you feed us kind of thing? You know, we, it, it, there's always that, you know, in play. You definitely feed off the crowd, there's no doubt. Um, you know, as far as the guys in the band, we just love playing together. We love being up there. You know, the music feeds us as well as the crowd, and we just try and give 110% every show, every moment of the show that we can. Um, you know, I love to go see bands, and I love when they leave it on stage, and and we try and do the same. You know, we're honored to be out there playing for, for the fans. And uh, we definitely, you know, try and give them everything we got. Every ounce of sweat. Every, everything that's in us. So, well, you you know, that's what it's all about, man. I tell you, you definitely did that. I know the uh, the day after, my throat was a little on the uh, scratchy side, recovering from uh, Jim. You know, really enjoying the show, singing along to, to all the tunes. Uh, cool. and, uh, I was on your side. I was on your side of the stage. I'm watching, watching you go nuts on that guitar, man. I mean, what you do is some amazing <laughs> stuff. Ah, uh, thanks, man. I'm just, I'm having a ball. I just, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm at uh, the best time of my life up there. You know, when my guitar's around my shoulder, and I'm just up there ripping and having fun. Man, you know, I'm always got a smile from ear to ear, and I'm, I'm truly just enjoying it. You know, having, having a great time off the crowd and everybody. Nothing better. Uh, and you can see it too. You know, you're one of those rare performers where you enjoy doing it and you show that you enjoy doing it. You know, you're not <laughs> up there with a pouty face on trying to be all badass yeah. and tough. You know, you're out there and you're <laughs> really digging into it, man. And I, 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 love, I love that. That's what I love about what you do, man. Uh, thank you. Thank you, man. Y again, yeah, I take it as... You know, it's uh, it's great to be up there and be able to play for people, you know, and do this for a living. And, uh, you know, I, I I give it my all. And uh, I show it from ear to ear with that big-ass smile all the time. And, you know, uh, I don't care. It's just, uh, you know, I just do what I do. And and uh, it's so enjoyable. So, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it shows. <laughs> Absolutely, man. So now you guys got this new EP coming out. Uh, dearly departed, and I remember hearing a few months back that there was talk of a special edition version of Men of yeah. Honor that would have had these bonus mm -hmm. tracks on it. 
when did you guys make the decision that rather than re-release Men of Honor with special edition flags, did you guys yeah. decide to say, you know what, let's just take what we've got, do it as an EP, and put it out as dearly departed? Well, basically, you know, we, we wanted to get in and do some more cover tracks. I mean, we love... We, we, it started off as a special edition, yes, but we um, we decided to, you know, give the fans some more some more stuff. You know, we love recording. Um, you know, it's it's a it's a great thing. We just head into my studio, we bang it out. Me and AJ went in there and had a had a great time doing all the covers and uh, you know making them our own. So we figured let's make it kind of uh, you know a mix of remakes from some of our stuff you know there's some songs from our first debut album Omerta on there that we redid acoustically we love doing the acoustic thing me and Russell we're out on the road we're always going to the radio stations and, and even in some of our shows we strip it down to just acoustic so uh, that's a real you know a joy for us to do so there's some renditions of that on the line is purely acoustic with me and Russ, you know uh, singing and, and just an acoustic guitar and uh we took some stuff from Men of Honor. You know, we redid uh, Crystal Clear, you know, with a whole different vibe. An edited version of Dearly Departed, which is, you know, it's really cool. We went back in with our uh, our new bassist, Derek Leonhardt, and um, had him on the album as well, as well as a couple of other tracks he played on. And, uh, you know, we just figured it was a real cool mix of uh, our material and some covers, and then there's a new song called uh, Gets Me get you through the night yeah, which is man. one of our favorites yeah so we're, we're, we're I, really happy with the release man you know? good yeah man I got I got it uh, late yesterday I was jamming out to it last night when I finished up uh, <laughs> the asylum last night and yeah. uh, I was jamming out to it and I got up and I said right, let me listen to it again and I huh? said you know, I'm jamming out to it again and I listen to Get You Through the Night, and what was it about that song that it didn't make the cut from when you guys play out Man of Honor? Yeah, it was, it was nothing like that. It was like, uh, it wasn't that it hit the cutting floor. It, it never fell off the console. <laughs> it even hit the floor. So uh, it, it really just, um, you know, we had too, too much material, and it was really hard to, to not put that on Man of Honor to be honest so we knew okay we're going to keep this and this is coming out so it was never uh, again you know never a cut track we you know we never swept it under the under the console it was just put aside to be like alright this is coming out next that's all you know it's one of our favorite songs and AJ is just on fire on it that's actually the first song he played for the Man of Honor session it's a really cool story it was just like you know we had done writing the album and had finished all the music and uh, you know me and Russell were like alright we gotta get a drummer <laughs> you know so tried a couple of things didn't work out and I just gave my buddy AJ a call and said man why don't you come over and play a track and he's like alright I'll be over tomorrow and uh, he came over and banged out get you through the night played it for us and well, our mouths were just like seriously dropped to the floor so <laughs> that's how it all started man Cool, man. So it's, it's kind of nice thing for uh, everybody, for you guys as a band, and for the fans to now have this one track that was essentially yeah. the track that added AJ to the mob. Yeah, that is the track. There's, there's, uh, that's the one. You know, I brought it to the guys, and they were blown away. And then it was like, okay, hey, Tom, how'd you come on song? Yeah, great. Hey, Tom, how'd you like to play the whole album? <laughs> it's like, yeah, great. And, you know, hey, Tom, uh, you want to be in the band? <laughs> it's like, of course I do. It was so natural and organic and simple, you know. Well, you can't ask for any, any better way, you know. There are so many bands now that go out and a member leaves and they hire, they bring in a uh, hired drum and that hired drum hangs around, but then when you see them perform, they look yeah. like a higher gun. You know, they just don't yeah. seem like they fit in. And uh, it's obvious what it is. You just fit right in with the whole thing you he guys did. do with the drone. Yeah, yeah. 
yeah, he's you know he's one of us. I mean, I've known AJ for 20 years. We've played together so many times over the last you know two decades. I can't even remember, you know. And it's just uh, he's just a monster. I mean, he's an amazing rock drummer, lightning fast, grooves, play hits like a tank, you know. And uh, it's just great. It's a joy to to be in a band with him. Yeah, he's just such a great guy as well. He's a, he's a team player. You know, across the board, man. Thumbs up. Absolutely, man. He's got a hell of a kit that he sits behind, too, man. That is like <laughs> a monster kit that he uses. It is, yeah. That was built. To, uh, we took it out on the Event 7 Full Tour. It's, uh, it's huge. Four bass drums, monster. It's, uh, you know, it sits on a 57 Chevy. Uh, it's, it's pretty crazy. But that's AJ. AJ's like a tank. So For it sure. fits him. Like, you don't even need to see a picture of him. You just see a picture of a kid. It's like, yeah, there's AJ. It's like you see the kid and you see his head. And you're like, yeah, that's AJ. Yeah. That's it. It's like, yeah, it's like, he, you know, you just need to see that, you know, the whole diamond plate thing. And uh, he's been doing that since the Twisted Sister days. He had the garbage can kit with the four bass drums, like 20-something cymbals, 14 toms. I mean, you know, he started that. As far as I'm concerned, he's the first guy that I ever knew of that did the monster, monster kit. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was, it really is, it becomes so regular every day now that it's almost hard to, to pinpoint yeah. where it all began. But you are right, even my earliest memories, I remember photos and videos of him being surrounded by this yeah. monster kit. So it, it, yeah, I, yeah. I agree with you there on him. Being the first, <laughs> and uh, yeah, as far as I, as far as I remember, yeah, yeah. And I also mentioned okay. your new, your new member, uh, Eric Leonhardt, formerly of Tantric, is making yeah. his debut on Dearly Departed. And I know it was a shock to me, as I'm sure it was to many, when John Moyer stepped out to do other things in the yeah. music world. And all the best to him and. You know, hope to yeah. run into him again soon on the road. Yep. How did you guys decide on on bringing Eric in? I mean, AJ, we, we already discussed, was like, you know, he'll play this and, wow, you fit. Boom, you're in. Yeah. Uh, how is it well, with, with Eric? It was it was pretty easy. I mean, you know, well, first, first with, the, with the John Morris thing, yeah, I mean, I love John, you know, it's, it didn't uh, work out with Adrenaline Bob, but I still work with John all the time. I've been in the studio with him the last few months. He produces bands, and um, I'm I'm engineering, mixing, and mastering one of his latest, you know, big 18-song concept albums. So me and John still work together all the time. I love him. He's a great guy, and, uh, you know, I'll be continuing to work with him for a long time. So um, as far as the, the new player in the band... Uh, it's a funny story because I actually started the band with him. It's funny how it comes full circle. Even before I was, uh, you know, with Russell, I was doing, working on all this music that became Omerta. And uh, I had a band called Adrenaline Fuel Junkie. And Eric was the bass player singer. So it's, it's I actually, it's, it came full circle with who I started this whole Adrenaline Mob thing. But what became Adrenaline Mob? Like I said at the time, it was a slightly different name. But uh, it was Eric in the beginning. So it was a real simple thing. I've been friends with him for a long time. And uh, there was no searching for a bass player. There was no, who are we going to get? It was just like, all right, you know, let me give Eric a call. It really was, you know, it was natural as well as it was with AJ. We try and keep it friendly and people who we like and people who, you know, are great to hang out with and go on tour and just kind of be like a, a family, you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and yeah, yep. it's, it's kind of nice to hear that it circled back to to yeah. where we all kind of began for you, because that's not something yeah. that, that happens very often. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was you know, it was just a twist of fate. Who knew? You know. um yeah, it just it, it was very strange, and I've been like I said, it started with Eric, and then Eric had to actually go back to Tantric, where he had a whole big thing uh, tour he had to do with Tantric. I, I think it was a Mind Control album, and he had to go on a really big tour, and and I kind of was just like, kind of you know, I had all this music 
it's all the music, you know, or 90% of what we're working on, you know, maybe about eight or nine songs, they all ended up on America musically, and then me and Russell, you know, once Russell came in the mix, that's truly when the Adrenaline Mob was born and the sound truly came to life when, when me and Russell joined forces. So, you know, it took all that music and, and everything I had and we, we made the mob. <laughs> well, it's just amazing how everything falls into place here with you guys with yeah. Adrenaline Mob and the sound is just so unique and heavy hitting all the way around. Even uh, when, when listening to Dearly Departed, even though All on the Line is an acoustic version, uh, I still felt the same intensity that the choruses have on Omerta or on the studio version. Is that still, sure. it, it's acoustic, but you two, you guys are going to still bring that intensity level to it. Yeah, yeah, we try to keep it, you know, it's all about, you know, emotion, really, and uh, Russell, you know, he's one of the most amazing singers I've ever known, period. There's nothing the guy can't do, you know, there's no emotion he can't, you know, admit to somebody or, you know, bring across to a listener through the music, and, you know, we, we love to pull the phone back, and we've been doing it for a while, you know, with, with On the Line and Angel Sky and, and Crystal Clear, and uh, even on the off days of the Avenge tour and with uh, you know the Avenge and the Hell Yeah guys we would do some shows on the side and we would just pull up two stools in the middle of the set and do the acoustic version of these songs so it was really cool and uh, you know, he, he knows how to he knows how to bring it Russ knows how to bring it whether it's real soft real loud mid tempo you know he's amazing yeah it's also something a lot of bands nowadays are, are afraid to do they're afraid to do that that stripped down very simple thing everyone's gotten so reliant yeah. on technology and the reverb and, and the pedals yeah. and, and the pads that everyone goes you know, oh do an acoustic song and everyone sits there <laughs> yeah. and kind of, they kind of shit the bed like what? <laughs> yeah that's where it really is you know if it if a song is a really good song and it really can, you know, convey a message to somebody or a feeling or an emotion, it'll come across that stripped down. And that's the true meaning of a re- you know, really good song. You know, and uh, that's what I say, you know. People tell us all the time how the songs have touched them and, you know, it, it's, it's a, a line that's been said before, but, you know, if you reach one person with a song and you, you get to them, you know, your job is done. And that, that song definitely made its mark with our fans. It's a real special song. Absolutely, man. I mean, I, I personally, when you guys released Man of Honor last year, I was going through some personal issues with uh, a friend that had kind of just stabbed me in the back a few months prior. Yeah. And when I heard Dearly Departed on Man oh, of yeah. Honor, it was just like, I heard that and yeah. it was just like, if I, get, if I didn't write this, you know, you guys wrote this for the scenario that I was going <laughs> to, and I would just sit there with that on, like, replay for, like, days, like, that son of a bitch oh, pissed, awesome. pissed me off, played Dearly Departed. Okay, I feel better. Uh, you know, that's so. That's great. Yeah, oh, I, thanks, man. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's betrayal. Everybody has some, you know, amount of it you know, bestowed upon them in this lifetime, you know, and uh, it's a song about betrayal, you know, uh, yeah. Absolutely. It's, it's, that got that. that yeah. one helped me out uh, a little bit last year. And uh, for those you tuning in late, Michael Randolph, Dwayne Lamar, joining me now, their new EP, Dearly Departed, coming out very yeah. soon. Now, you guys also did, oh, yeah. did some covers on this. And yep. one of the covers jumped out at me because it is one of my all-time favorite non-metal songs. And that is The <laughs> Devil Went Down to Georgia. Ah, uh, yes, the mighty Devil Went Down to Georgia track. <laughs> we had a ball with that. That's all I can say. It I was, mean, uh, yeah, what, what can you say? It's such a great song. I mean... It's, it's, you know, another honor to do because, I mean, it's, it's so great. It's so 
highly, you know, held in, in, in people's liking, you know, in the music world. And uh, to be able to do it and transcribe all those violins, I mean, I just had a great time. You know, the track, the track was actually given to me as a request from my girlfriend. And uh, really? it was like, you know, yeah, yeah, that's how that track came about. It was like, wow, yeah, I could really, I could hear that. I could, I instantly heard of a real kick-ass, you know, version in my head, and that was it. It was like, boom, it was on. We had a ball doing yeah, I was listening to it. I mean, I really got into it because, like I said, that is like in my top five non-metal or rock-related okay. songs of all time. So whenever there's a cover of it that gets rock or metal-fied, I go nuts and I listen to it. And a part of me wonders if maybe you didn't play yourself into a, a hole because I, I listen to it and I'm like. I don't know how Mike is going to be able to repeat this kind of a speed if he ever does it live. Oh, we're doing it live. Are you kidding me? We can't wait. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, there's, there's a way to do it. I mean, it really is, you know, there's a lot of guitar in it, but, you know, the basic, the basic melody is, is, is just two guitars playing harmony. So, you know, it's, it's simple to do it live with a harmonizer. And, uh, but no, we'll be, we'll be kicking the crap out of it every night. Nice, man. I look forward to that one. And uh, did, did, how did you guys decide also on the, the other ones, Attack Fabers and the Queen yeah. and Savage? How did you guys, were those also um, famous? Were those stuff that you had wanted to do for Coverta yeah. and just time got away so you used them, you were able to use them now? Yeah. Um, you know, no, no, it was it was really simple, to be honest. I mean, again, you had people around us and surrounding the band threw some ideas at us, and, you know, what we thought. We sifted through some ideas, but it was really easy. I mean, Sabbath, that, you know, I've been listening to Sabbath since, like, I can't remember. You know, it's one of my favorite all-time heavy bands, and those were the songs that I, I love, you know, Into the Void, Killing Yourself to Live, Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath, Electric Funeral, you know, plus Sweet Leaf. I mean, we took a medley of a whole bunch of songs. And, and me and AJ had been playing these songs together for years. So, again, it was just a great time. It was like, hey, tell them, man, let's have fun. Like, we're used to with these songs. And we just threw it through the big Sabbath medley together. You know, the, the Queen song was, was an idea, um, you know, from some, from some friends of ours as well. And um, Russell came up with Snort and Whiskey. It's a great song. Uh, you know, great pick, uh, real bluesy, and me and him get to do the whole question and answer kind of trade-off thing back and forth the whole song. I, I love that track, and Russ just kicks the living crap out of it, you know. Um, so it was really easy. It was just real organic, you know, just, hey, man, these are, the, these are the bands we love, and these are the songs we love, and that's how we go about the cover thing. Cool, man. I mean, you guys definitely nailed it. I did, like, as far as I'm concerned, you nailed it with those as, as much as you did with the ones on Coverta. And like I said, yeah. the, the Devil Went Down, if you like that, that one will be, that one will probably be in a regular rotation on on my iPad or and, and show in, in upcoming weeks, man. So, you guys it, got... It came out really cool. It really, it really did. You guys totally nailed it. And trust me, when you guys went through the the New York, New Jersey area, which I'm hoping will be when the weather gets a little warm. I'm assuming you guys are going to be get, hoping to get out and do some tour dates? We are. We are. We're actually going to be doing, um, yes, we're going to be doing the states with Drowning Pool, um, and we're going to be doing a bunch of, uh, you know, headlining shows as well. And then we head over to South America, and we're going to do uh, a tour over there. Um, so that's in May. So yeah, we're we're getting ready to hit the road and and get back out there. That's what it's all about. We're locked in, and we, you know, we live and breathe on stage in front of the people and the fans. And that's that's what it's all about. Absolutely, and like I said, never went down to Georgia. I, I want to see that one in the live set for sure, man. That <laughs> would that would got to be in there, man. I, I'm requesting. Oh, it's gonna be. I'm requesting <laughs> that one in the live set. Yeah, no, it's going in. 
Now, I, I have to ask you, with Dealing Departed, is this a appetizer of another album that may come later this year, or are we still maybe another year away from a full-length uh, Adrenaline Mob yeah. album? Yeah, well, I'll be willing to support Dealing Departed for the rest of this year, for sure. You know, whatever we do in 2015 is in support of Dealing Departed. And then, uh, you know, I'll start working and writing on the next one, you know, as soon as. But there's definitely work to be done supporting this, that's for sure. Absolutely. So that's where my mindset's at right now. Absolutely, man. Well, make sure everyone gets out there, get yourself a copy of Dearly Departed from Adrenaline Mob. And uh, right oh, yeah. before I let you go, I gotta ask you, seems like every time I have you on, I gotta ask you about the super group that you had in the works. Last year we were a little bit closer to trade <laughs> coming to fruition. Yeah. Has, have we gotten any further with trade or has trade kind of oh. Taking a, a backseat with adrenaline while I'm really picking up. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, it's tough to do. You know, everything you want to do. I mean, we still we still have it. We've we've done a ton of tracks. You know, I mean, sure, musically, you know, we did probably twelve or twelve or thirteen tracks. You know, um, but you know, we haven't. We're holding on to it, and yeah, we definitely. I, I definitely want to do you know, something with it. So it's it's just a matter of timing at this point, you know. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. I mean, you know, the old, there is only so much you guys can do. I mean, let's be honest, not all of you, not everyone in the industry is Mike Portnoy and can do four different bands yeah. um, at one time. How he does it, I still don't know how he does it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. So I, I totally understand you you guys having it and waiting for the right time to do it, especially yeah. you know, I, especially with adrenaline mob really taking off as well as it, it has. Oh yeah, no, it's, it's I mean it's, yeah, it's definitely that's where the attention is. Uh, you know, I've been I'm always busy. Again, I'm, I'm I own my own studio, my own recording studio where I do all the adrenaline mob albums and and I mix and master everything, but I also do. I have, you know, clients as well that I, I'm constantly working, and uh, I actually just, I'm at the stages of recording a new album of something that I have brewing that's, but I've been working on for a while. I can't announce it yet, but um, you know, the, the album is pretty much written, and uh, and we're going into the, you know, the pre-production is done. So that's something that I've been, you know, doing for the last six months or so. Um, Hopefully, you know, we, that'll be announced soon, but I gotta keep a tight lip on that for now. <laughs> are, are, are we talking a Sonic Stomp 3 or something uh, no, different? No, no, Sonic Stomp 3. Our Sonic Stomp 3 totally different, totally, you know, um, totally new, and, and uh, don't want to give it away yet, but it, it'll, uh, it'll definitely be coming soon. Oh, hey, like I had to dig, you know me. I gotta try and get what I can out of here. It's what I do. So <laughs> all good. Oh, it's all good. I, you know, I do have some, you know Sonic Stomp Three material that I'm that I'm throwing away, and um, uh, that that is so near and dear to my heart. So you know, when I have the moment and I can put aside, you know, the time to do it, I'm definitely gonna jump in and, and do a Sonic Stomp Three. Very cool, man. I love the first two. I have them. Thank I love you. everything you guys do with Adrenaline Mob. Again, I'm going to make sure you get out there, get yourself a copy of Dearly Departed. Mike, before oh, yeah. I let you go, what song from Dearly Departed should we give our listeners here tonight? Well, I mean, we, we were talking up the one down to Georgia. I'd say either Spin That or The Mighty Sabbath. I'll let you pick that one. <laughs> uh, I tell you what, since I am itching to play Devil Went Down to Georgia since the day I got the I, press release about that, I'm going to slam that one out there right now. Mike, thank oh. you for joining me here inside the asylum. Kick ass at Nam. Yep. 
And uh, my everyone, pleasure, my friend. And save me, brother. And everyone, check, check this out. Devil went down to Georgia. A adrenaline oh. mob style. Right now inside the asylum. <laughs>